<laughs> uh, look, Eleanor, you've, you've got to come across a novel solution for a very modern problem. It's, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it's true, um, because I think with the gender stuff, people are always talking about things but never doing anything. Mm -hmm. But this uh, a, a student has come up with a, a solution to the problem of man-spreading. Um, man-spreading? Man-spreading. Oh. Explain now. what man-spreading is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yasmin, thank you for that. Exactly, that's <laughs> a perfect <laughs> demonstration. Invading someone's space, you're sitting on the tube or you know, the bus and, and you spread out, really, don't you? I mean, I'm not. I don't think I'm manspreading here. I think this is I a normal way to say. I think you could still sit. make it a bit better. Come on, it's true. Come on, give yeah. me a bit more space. Come on, no, <laughs> come on. You've got a massive sofa, and you're complaining about me manspreading. Yeah. Uh, this is ridiculous. Uh, but we, we've actually got um, a the chair uh, behind this. So let me uh, let me bring it out. So this has been made by Layla Warren, uh, who studies at the University of Brighton. Yeah. Okay. So this is to prevent someone manspreading, and and. It, it sort of it works actually because if I was to manspread, uh, I would have two bits of wood. Um, well, it'd be uncomfortable. They'd be <laughs> they're sticking into me. So I, it forces me to close my legs. It's improved your and, posture. And I, yeah, has it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose because I'm higher it's up as well. Great uh, idea. Well, <laughs> you like it? <laughs> <laughs> we should have this on the train, shouldn't it's we? Fantastic. Let, let's bring in Layla Laurel, who who actually designed this. Uh, uh, hey, Layla. Layla. So we we actually quite like. It. I'm sitting in this chair. I'm feeling quite comfortable. What was the motivation behind this? So with these chairs, I was just trying to kind of manipulate how people might interact with them and maybe challenge how men and women would stereotypically often sit. And what has the reaction been to them? Uh, I've had, you know, you know, some really good reactions of the people that I met at the shows and people who sat on the chairs, but um, there has been a lot of backlash online from, from them. So, you know, it's been mixed. Back backlash from men? Yeah, mostly men, um, people online kind of being really rude, telling me that maybe the world would be a better place if I jumped off a tall bridge, which oh, is... That's horrendous. So, I mean, that is horrendous, because we're, sort, we're sort of having a laugh about this and I'm sort of chuckling mm, away about the way yeah. I sit, but that, these are, you know, it's really serious that you're, you're getting that sort of reaction. Yeah, I mean, it was super discouraging and quite hard at the beginning, but I think, you know, I'm beginning to realise that when you're tackling social issues or trying to discuss them, um, especially ones that tend to be quite polarising, such as, like, gender politics, mm. you do tend to step on people's toes, and the people that have been me messaging me maybe are you know, a small percentage of the population that, you know, are really the ones that want to spread hate and so it's maybe not worth having a dialogue with them. Mm. So on the flip again. side, you, you won an award, didn't you? So, did. you, you know, yes. that puts all the abuse aside. The Belmont uh, the, Award. Well, congratulations, that's amazing. You Thank must have felt so really much. good about that. Yeah, I'm very chuffed to be working with Belmont in the future. I'm very excited. Congratulations. Thank well, you. I mean, I like the chair, but I actually prefer the sofa. It's a bit softer <laughs> yeah, on my behind. Yeah, I think fair so. enough. I'm not <laughs> suggesting men should sit on it all the time. <laughs> I'm going to put it back. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you.